All the things that you didn't show me in the special way I feel When you hold me, we gon' always be together, baby, that's what you told me And I believe it, cause I ain't never had nobody do me like, like you Hey everybody, it's your girl Red African and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how I do my makeup whenever I go out or want to get cute, etc, etc. Because I normally don't even wear makeup every day to be honest, just whenever, you know, I'm about to do something. Um, but let's just go ahead and just dive right into this video and get into this tutorial. So I am going to go ahead and take my spoolie so I could comb out my eyebrows. My eyebrows tend to get messy and just hairs will be all over the place so I have to comb them out. Then I go ahead and take my LA Girl Pro Conceal and I like to use this concealer to outline my eyebrows. This just basically helps me to see how I want to shape my eyebrows and fill them in and everything like that. I just literally follow how my eyebrows are. Um, I feel like when I conceal first it becomes more natural looking um and i've always have been doing this technique for years now so it's definitely my favorite i do have an in-depth video on how i do my eyebrows on my channel it's literally like i think two minutes long so i'll go ahead and link the card so you guys can take a look So the products that I love using on my eyebrows are from Merit. Um, so I'm using their brow, eyebrow, brush, pomade thing. It's basically in a tube like mascara, but it's for your brows, right? And I like to just fill in where I see spaces on my eyebrows. So normally the tail of my brow and then I'll see where else. Then I go ahead and just blend out the concealer. Um, just blending everything out. You know, making sure I'm cleaning up any errors and things of that nature. So that is how my eyebrows look after that. The next step I like to do is color correct. I don't know why I use so much color correct here, but normally I just use a little bit around my mouth area and then under my eyes. Um, and that's pretty much it and i just go ahead and blend it out with my beauty blender So once I am done blending that out, I like to take my Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Scent Powder. This was actually a, a little sample size gift that I received from Sephora and I recently started using it and I fell in love with it because this translucent powder is really good. I like to do the method um, Jackie Ina shared where it helps with like your crease lines on your laugh area, your smile lines area, and then also just helps with um, not having such an oily skin and also just make sure it keeps your makeup in place. So I always do this. This is such an important step for me. I feel like if I miss it, then my makeup is not going to come out correctly. So after I color correct, I like to set that concealer. Um, so yeah. Then I go ahead and take my favorite foundation, NARS Longwear Radiant Creamy Foundation. I think that's the name. Um, but yes, I'm in the shade of New Caledonia. I just put a few pumps on my face. And then I use my Real Techniques Foundation Brush and my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. I like to spray that on the brush so it can blend out smoothly and also prep and prime my face. <laughs> I 
try not to use too much foundation um you know again this is some this is not even necessarily an everyday makeup routine to be honest because i do not wear makeup every day but whenever i am going out or just anything going out you know and i want to look more put together this is the makeup routine i always do this is literally my go-to makeup routine Then I go ahead and take my NARS uh, Creamy Concealer in the shade Amand, and I like to conceal underneath my eyes, um, the nose bridge, um, above my lip, and my chin area, and also my forehead. So now for this part is super duper important. I like to really focus on tapping or patting on um, that concealer in my inner corner. So it's like really like the concealer is like in there and it's really concealing, you know, the area instead of just quickly patting out and dragging it out. So I pat, 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 focus on that. And then I slowly drag it out as you guys can see in the video. And also looking up really does help to make sure it gets in those like crevices and such. After that, I like to go ahead and set with my all-time favorite Laura Mercier Translucent Medium Deep Powder. This translucent powder is literally the GOAT. Um, and it matches my skin pretty freaking well. Like, I could honestly use this all over my face and then nothing is going to happen. Um, like, it, it matches well, in other words. It's not too bright. It's not too dark. Anything like that is just right. Now, this is literally the goat to making sure there's no flashback because I do not and never ever get flashback whenever I do my makeup routine due to this setting powder. This setting powder is absolutely the best um, whenever I use flash, whenever someone has a flashlight on me or they catch me, you know, in the dark or something, you're not going to see flashback of like scary makeup how sometimes you see that on other people. Nah this one it's really natural seamless blends through love it so so much and then i just like to add the rest some just a little bit of powder on the rest of my face just to set you know the foundation and everything like that just because it blends my skin pretty well um and it gives it such a nice airbrush look so definitely love love this foundation um not this foundation the setting powder <laughs> Then I go ahead and bronze my face with the CoverGirl Queen in Ebony Brown, Ebony Bronze. Um, this bronzer I purchased from eBay because they do not sell this bronzer anymore. So I'm trying to find an alternative that's less red because I find that this bronzer can be sometimes too red. Um, but it does what it needs to do. Then I go ahead and use the NARS blush in Exhibit A. It's in a nice orange red color. I like to smile and then just tap it on my cheeks and then I add it on the tip of my nose just to bring some color back into my face. Then I love, love, love to line my eyes. So I like to always put black eyeliner. I put on my bottom lash line and then my top lash line. I really love how my eyes look afterwards when I use black eyeliner and whenever I line my eyes because it gives it such a very dramatic look as you guys can see. Um, I don't like to add eyeshadow on my lids so I just only add eyeshadow on my inner tear ducts. Now here I just realized that I wasn't even recording 
at a certain point so I'm showing you guys that I did apply some mascara and then I'm also showing you the uh, eyeshadow palette that I use in that champagne shadow color in my tear duct area Now I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes. I love using Tiggs Beauty lashes in the style Nova. It's so gorgeous, natural, yet dramatic. It's definitely my favorite lash by far. Um, I don't know if she's going to do a restock. She said that she is when I DM'd her. So I'm waiting on that so I can re-up because I need more lashes. Okay, and these are my favorite lashes. Um, super duper natural and then super dramatic at the same time so definitely love that like look at this oh my gosh now I'm gonna go ahead and take my NYX lip liner in espresso um, I don't even like this lip liner because it's too red um, I like to use the MAC chestnut lip liner but I couldn't find it so I just went ahead and settled for this this is this is what I used to use before um, but it worked so yeah Now I'm going to go ahead and use the Char Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Pillow Talk. This, this is the best pink nude for me uh, shade <laughs> lipstick. I love using this lipstick so much. I just like to, you know, put it in that center area just to give it an ombre look. And this is literally my go-to lip combo. Some brown lip liner and a nice pink nude. And then sometimes I like to top it off with gloss if I'm feeling juicy that day or no gloss if I'm feeling, you know, a matte look. I like to blend out um, the makeup after I gel down my edges and like scarf it up and everything. I tend to forget sometimes, so that is really not it. But yeah, this is the look. Soft glam, everyday, natural. You still see my face. I don't look drastically different in my opinion. Um, and then I just use some beauty supplies for lip gloss. Just to give it a little bit more juiciness to the look. More glam, um, which is my go-to. And then here I'm just, you know, feeling myself, listening to music, showing y'all the look. Because this is the look. This is my everyday makeup look, my go-to routine, um, glam look. Soft glam look. So that is it do not forget to hit that subscribe button also do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment i'll see you guys in my next video bye